All right, so I saw this meme that said, I don't, after the, this is over, I, I don't want to go back to normal. A lot of people are saying, we just want to go back to normal. But in this meme, it said, our normal wasn't very good. There were a lot of people that were greedy, that made a whole lot of money, more than they could ever use in their lifetime. And then there were some people that were really poor and didn't even have enough food to eat, and that wasn't fair. And our environment and what we were doing to destroy things like Lake Erie and, and other, all the important things. This is our only planet we have. There isn't a planet B. That's another meme that says there, isn't, there is no other one. Um, so there are, we're, I don't want to go back to that normal. I want us to have a new normal where we care about things. So this is what we would be doing if we were together, and I would like for you to try to do it on your own. Write down some things that you wish the people of our world would repent from, that they would stop doing, say they're sorry, and then what things would you have them do instead? What would be a better thing, a new normal, a better life for them, for all of us? And we can turn this pandemic into something positive. And then the thing that we would be doing if we were together is to make a ceremony, like we've talked about baptizing and using water as a ritual. So, if we were there, I would bring our globe down, and we would name these things that we have uh, want people to do, and we would put them on the earth and say that, like, we hope that you will repent, and you will change your ways, and you can do this with... I don't know, do you have a beach ball? Do you have a basketball, a soccer ball? Something, or maybe you've got a globe. Something that could represent our Earth. And then you can either use the water and baptize it, or you can do like we do used to, and take a flower and put some water on it and, and use a ritual that way. And at the end, say, Amen, or uh, so be it, or we had this minister one time that taught us a new word, and that word was ashe, and that means let's make it happen. Maybe you can be the one who grow up to make it happen. I would love that so much. So, uh, next week, we're going to learn about Jesus. After he was baptized by John, he went into the wilderness for 40 days and nights, and he had temptations. Do you ever have temptations? I do. I want to eat some things that I know aren't good for me. That's a temptation. So let's find out what happened when Jesus had temptations. Bye.